Stop Making Stupid People Famous. Hello and welcome to Stop Making Stupid People Famous. Today we are talking about Miley Cyrus. She exploded onto the scene in 2005 with her TV show Hannah Montana. It was on the Disney Channel and it basically launched this young lady into stardom almost immediately. The show only ran for four seasons and during that time she was a superstar. Everybody knows who this girl is. She did concert tours to promote uh, her albums that coincided with the TV show as both Hannah Montana and Miley and then she also had the Best of Both Worlds concert movie which is the highest grossing concert movie of all time to date. Uh, to say that Miley Cyrus is a superstar is exactly what that is. She is what you would call today a pop superstar. That being said, between 2011 and 2013 there was this kind of limbo that she was in where she almost faded into obscurity and we weren't quite sure if she was going to continue to be famous. She released Can't Be Tamed which is to date her lowest selling album. So after Can't Be Tamed was not the biggest commercial success, she hired a manager named Larry Rudolph who helped reinvent her image and put onto the world the Miley Cyrus we know today. She released her album Bangers with the lead single Wrecking Ball and then she performed at the 2013 MTV Video Music Awards with Rob and Thicke who I thought was a duo named Rob and Thicke not Rob and Thicke one guy so those two things coinciding with each other helped push her back into the spotlight and now she's right back where she was. Everyone's talking about Miley Cyrus again. So what I'd like to do is kind of take the focus away from just Miley Cyrus and put it more on the likes of Larry Rudolph. And this is not the first time he has done this with anybody. He, he's most famous for doing it with Britney Spears. He's also worked with Avril Lavigne, Brooke Hogan, the Backstreet Boys, 98 Degrees, Lindsay Lohan. She's done this reinvention kind of thing to get people talking not so much about the music, but more about the performance and the way that they're portraying themselves. And I don't think, personally, that that is very sufficient for the music industry. All this is, is history repeating itself. You start with, let's say, Madonna. You see her as a trendsetter. She reinvents herself with each album and she has a new persona for each tour and it works. She's basically a performer. Not just a singer, not just a songwriter, she's a performer. And that kind of set the trend that would follow a lot of pop starlets these days. Only instead of just having new personas and different styles and variations of yourself for each album and for each tour, they do it to where they'll ride one thing till the end until people get tired of it, and then just as they're about to burn out, they'll reboot themselves or reinvent themselves, and then they'll just focus more on doing outrageous and outlandish things to gain attention and to get everyone talking about it. Because like it or hate it, you're going to talk about it. And then it becomes less about the music and more about the person. So when you have these managers that tell these people to do these outlandish things to gain and garner buzz and attention, they're going to do that because they're used to the limelight, they're used to being famous and popular and talked about, and they love the attention. So when you have Miley Cyrus, or Britney Spears, or Christina Aguilera, or Avril Lavigne, or Lindsay Lohan, you start to see trends here. They think you're doing something original, but they're just repeating history. It's all the same thing all the time. And it's just a terrible trend that shows no sign of stopping, especially now with the way that Miley Cyrus has regained all of her popularity. It's the, I'm no longer a little kid mentality. Look at me, I can do these crazy outlandish things that only adults can do, and it's tasteless, and it's terrible. These stars are communicating to millions upon millions of people, and they're just projecting this tasteless image just out there and saying, hey, you know what, this is totally fine to do, and it's the only thing you can do if you want to continue to be respected in the industry which is completely backwards in thinking when it comes to music. Music is about music, not about everything else that's been happening. So now we have Miley Cyrus riding this popularity train with her outrageous, over-the-top performing. She's doing exactly what Britney Spears did back in her heyday. She's doing exactly what Christina Aguilera did back in her heyday. She's trying to do what Madonna's been doing her entire life, and they should focus less on shock and awe for attention and more on long-lasting respectable talent that they can 
have a core established maintainable audience that they can keep through the life of their career instead of recycling the same kind of age bracket, letting their audience grow with them and not just grow out of them. I don't know. Not only that, Miley Cyrus's dad, Billy Ray Cyrus, co-released a song called Achy Breaky Heart 2 with Buck 22, which is an awful rap song and features the chorus and the hook of Achy Breaky Heart performed by Billy Ray Cyrus today. They didn't sample the song, they got him to re-record the hook to Achy Breaky Heart and it is awful. It is god awful. And I would not be surprised if this time next year Billy Ray Cyrus and Miley Cyrus do a tour together. I'm also hoping soon after that both of them quietly retire. <laughs> That's pretty much what I wish all these pop stars would do is just quietly retire. In a word, I would say a lot of these people are unnecessary. We do not need this. They're not timeless. They're, they're flashes on the pan. And they're a product of their time. And they're trends. And they're awful. In a word, it's awful. So Larry Rudolph, stop doing stupid things to famous people. And Miley Cyrus, stop doing stupid things. You're famous. You have millions of people who listen to what you say. Say something inspiring. Don't just say things to garner attention.